Right, OK, everybody. So uh, this, your homework was to have a go at this particular paper. So you've got molecular structures and names of three compounds shown in figure 8.1. So you've got propene, ethanol and polythene. And um, you, the first question is to complete table 8.1 using the information in 8.1 uh, to explain how the molecular structures help you identify each compound. So we can start off with um, we can start off with some ideas here. So first of all, the alkene is the obvious one because the alkene is a hydrocarbon with double bonds. Um, so that would be uh, propene. So the propene is propene because it is an alkene because it is a hydrocarbon. It's got only hydrogen and carbon atoms, uh, but it has double bonds. The not a hydrocarbon, if something's not a hydrocarbon, then it uh, contains substances other than hydrogen and carbon. So if we look at our, co our compounds here, the obvious one that stands out there is the ethanol. So the ethanol is not a hydrocarbon, okay? And the, way, the way we know that is it contains oxygen. So the last one that's left, the one that's an alkane, it's a little bit of a strange one, a little bit of a sort of a, a, a tripping one here, it's going to be the, the poly, the polythene. Although I actually don't like that as an answer, but it's there, there it is, it's a hype because it's a hydrocarbon, only hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms. And it has no double bonds. It's weird because we look at that one, we look at that and we think about the fact that that looks like a polymer because, we, because we've learnt about polymers. Um, but actually when you think about it, it's just basically, it's an infinite, high, it's an infinite alkane because you've got, your, your, you've got your sort of, you've got your bonds here, which could bond to hydrogen, okay, to make, uh, to, to make ethane, but it doesn't, it bonds to other polythene um, uh, parts, it bonds to other polythene uh, parts of the hydrocarbon chain and therefore forms a longer chain. But basically your alkane is a long chain of molecules, contain, a long chain of atoms containing carb only carbon and hydrogen. So technically that is an alkane. It's a little bit of a tricky one that one. So let's move on to the next part of the question. So the, um, the part B then says complete combustion of three compounds produces a greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. Identi identify the gas in the air that reacts with, with these compounds during combustion. So we've got to think about this very, very carefully. It's, it's a, bit of a, a bit of a decoding here. So you're told you've got the, the three compounds. So it's referring to the three compounds in this question. Okay. And we know that they are uh, hydro, yeah, well, uh, they're organic compounds, two of them are hydrocarbons. So identify the gas in the air that reacts with them. So we think it, it's kind of a very roundabout question, but the key here is combustion. For combustion, you need a fuel, you need heat, and you need oxygen. So the gas in the air is oxygen. Okay, it's a little bit of a trick there, but actually it's a very simple question when you decode it. And propene and polythene form compounds from petroleum. Okay, petroleum, when they say petroleum, they mean crude oil. That's the black sort of stuff that comes out of the ground that they, uh, that they, drill, that they drill for and then extract from the ground. Um, state the process in which propene and polythene are made. So propene is, a, is a, an alkene, an alkene which is extracted, which can be extracted from... Um, can be extracted from this crude oil, okay? And the way we extract it is fractional distillation. And polythene is then, we take the ethene and we polymerize it. So it's polymerization.
and that's it. Now this, if you did this under, as, a, as an exam, in an exam, it's a six mark question, it would actually, should actually only take you five or six minutes to do. If it took you longer than that, then maybe there's a need to, um, there's a need to sort of develop that uh, higher speed and accuracy. And that's it.